Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition we're going to be discussing the problem with price action noise. In Forex trading, a term which is used quite often in technical analysis is the market or price action noise. Quite often we find that price action in any given currency pair spends an awful lot of time sideways or in consolidation. Price action seems to be rising and falling in small increments but where these moves tend to form the basis of a trend. However, the longer you go on a time frame, and especially with regard to the 1 minute and 5 minute time frames, the more difficult it becomes to ascertain exactly what the trend is doing. Whether it's a part of being a bullish move or a bearish move, or whether it's a consolidation phase. This is a section of price action on a 5 minute chart of the USD CAD pair. We have added two vertical bars because this is the period that we want to drill down a little bit more on. This is the same section, but we have added two points of the chart at position A and B, and where the interest rate differentials is 64 pips. That is to say you have gone short at position A, the maximum you could have made if you had got out at position B would have been 64 pips. Of course if you had bought the pair at position A and got out at position B, you would have lost 64 pips. In this section we have added our own channel where we can see a lot of rise and fall and tight consolidation in periods with prices contracting within the range. But this itself would become difficult to trade, especially looking for trends. Now scalpers, while incorporating technical tools such as statistics, might argue that a few pips could be made here and there, possibly based on higher highs and higher lows ETC. This type of technical analysis can quickly fall out of kilter, in areas such as this which we have highlighted, where we suddenly have a lower high which is followed by a higher low. We would need a lower low in order for the pair to remain in a bearish pattern. This is also complicated in the area where we have highlighted, where we can see candles grouped together which are both bullish and bearish, and where several are more wick than candle telling traders that neither bulls or bears have this pair under control at this time. This market is noise, and while such noise can be seen in all time frames, the trick is to move up to the higher one to find out where directional bias might be heading. However, if we move to a higher time frame such as the 1 hour time frame here, and again look at the price action within the two horizontal lines where we can get some clarity about what is really happening to this pair over the time period which we have highlighted. Here we can see that price action is consolidating after a rally to the upside, and where we have a V-shaped potential reversal pattern within our highlighted area. There is an old saying which I'm sure you've heard of that sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees. Well this is a perfectly good example where in order to avoid the noise of lower timeframes we must always look to the higher timeframes to try and ascertain what the general bias is, even if you prefer to trade the lower ones. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.